let's begin. Class B, automatic, in cab, and outside pre trip inspection. So the examiner's gonna get in the truck. All right, good. Say good morning, whatever you gotta do. I'm gonna turn the key one click to the right. I'm gonna check my air pressure. Now you can do this before or after. I like to do it before I put the chocks out. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm below 90 PSI. If I'm not, use your service brake and pump it down. Below 90. Okay, very good. Take the key back out, put it in your pocket. Take your chocks, put them by your feet. Exit the truck with three points of contact. Take the chocks, chalk the front wheel, the steer wheel, the one closest to you. Back in the truck, three points of contact. Okay, put my seatbelt on. You put it on the wheel, right? Yeah. Chalk the uh, front and back wheel. Okay, the key back in, turn it one click to the right again. I know my air pressure is below 90. I'll make sure my truck is in neutral. I'll make sure my valve is pulled out. All right, the truck is safe to start. As soon as the engine turns on, I'm gonna check oil pressure. It has to come up within three to five seconds. If it did not, I'll shut the truck off. Also, my ABS light blinked on and off, telling me it's working properly. So I'm gonna wait for my air pressure to build up between 120 and 140. The governor cutoff valve should go off. Once it goes off, that'll tell me my tanks are full, the system is charged. So now we just sit and wait. If the examiner tells you to help it along, they mean give it a little bit of RPMs. That'll help build up the air pressure. was your governor cutoff valve that tells you the air system is fully charged and there's no leaks at this time I'm gonna turn my truck off let the engine settle turn the key back one click to the right for electricity I'm gonna make sure I see my gauges sweep and last I'm gonna push my valve in to release my brake all right, now I'm gonna do the one minute hold for the brake test. I'm gonna put my foot on my service brake. I'll grab my stopwatch or you can use your phone. Apply pressure first. Okay, look at the gauges, they'll drop initially and then start your stopwatch. You're gonna hold it for a minute. That's what you tell the examiner. You hold it for a minute and 10 seconds. Give yourself a little cushion because they have their own stopwatch too. All right, once the minute is up, Release your foot, stop the clock. I did not lose any more than three PSI within one minute for these trucks, class B. Three PSI within one minute. I will continue to pump my brake down to below 60 PSI. My low air warning light and buzzer should come on. Okay, the low air warning light and buzzers are ringing. They're functioning properly. I'll continue to pump down to 40 and below. My spring brake valve should pop out. Keep your eye on the valve, not on the gauge. All right, my valve popped out. That tells me my spring brake is working properly. I'll take the key with me now. I will go get the chocks. Make sure you take the key with you. They could fail you for that three points of contact when you get out grab the chocks put them back here back in the truck three points of contact seat belt on don't forget the automatic trucks we got to mess with the chocks all right so now we're back in the beginning again i'm gonna do another safe start I'll check to make sure my air pressure is below 90, which I know it is. 
and I'll go ahead and check it anyway. Air pressure is below 90. My valve is out. My truck is in neutral. I'll start up the truck. I'm gonna check oil pressure and ABS light again. Okay, oil pressure came up within three to five seconds. If it did not, I would shut the truck off. My ABS light blinked on and off, telling me it's working properly. All right, I'm gonna do the in-cab inspection. Now you can look at the checklist. Your checklist will help you out here. Let me see this thing. So the checklist, you did the first check, you could check that off. The air brake check is done. Let's jump down to the fourth checkpoint, the lighting indicators. All right, my left signal indicators working properly. My right signal indicators working properly. Turn the headlights on, the switch is in the bottom left. So you can check your high beam indicator, pull the stick. All right, lighting indicators, you can check that off. Emergency equipment. My three reflective triangles, they're secured in their red box above the passenger seat. They're not cracked or broken, they're all present. My fire extinguisher for this truck is behind the door. 10 pound ABC fire extinguisher, fully charged and up to date. My glove box, I have spare fuses for every fuse in the truck unless it has a circuit breaker. There should be six spare fuses somewhere in the truck. All right, let's jump down. Emergency equipment, done. Windshield and traffic monitoring devices. My windshield is clean, not cracked or broken. No cracks larger than one inch, no illegal stickers. My mirrors are adjusted to my driving. They're clean, not cracked or broken. Again, no stickers, no legal stickers, no cracks. Check that off. Wipers and washers. All right, turn the stick, turn the wipers on. My wipers are straight, the wiper arm, it's not bent or broken. The wiper blade, the rubber, it's not ripped or torn, it's not frayed. And then the fluid, just press the button. Don't empty out the tank, just press it a little bit. All right, my fluid is dispensing and it's cleaning my windshield, done. All right, check that off, wipers and washers. Heater and defroster. Turn the heat on, turn it on defrost setting. Okay, I feel air coming through my vents. Tells me there's no obstructions. I'll use the defrost to clean any fog or frost off my windshield. I'm gonna put it on the upper and lower setting just to check the other vents. All right, I feel air coming through. No obstructions in those vents either. That was my governor cutoff valve. Tells me the air system is charged, no leaks. All right, come back here. Heaters and defrosters, check off. Horns, that's the last one. This truck only has a city horn. Some of the other trucks have the air horn. This truck does not. All right, it's only city horn, works properly. Check that off, good. Now we can go back and do parking and trailer brake. We don't have a trailer, so we're just checking the parking brake. Put it in drive. All right, give it a little bit. That's it. That tells me my spring brake is holding properly. Put it back in neutral. Push the valve in. Wait for that hissing noise to stop. Put it back in drive. Watch your feet. You're gonna move up five to 10 feet. All right, bring the truck to a full stop using your service brake. Back to neutral, secure the truck. My truck came to a full stop, telling me the service brakes are working properly and it's not pulling in either direction, so it's wearing out evenly. All right, turn the truck off. Turn your flashers on and make sure your headlights are on. They should be, you turned them on before. And we're gonna head outside, take the key with you. We're gonna do the outside pre-trip. So now, once we get to the outside, the checkpoint that says external light check, that's already done. We did that in the beginning of the test. The examiners and the driver, they check all the lights, make sure it's working before the test even starts. So that's already checked off, you're done with that. The next check, oh, let me see the list again. Let me see the list again, yeah, let me see. The next one, front of vehicle, that's where we are. Lenses, fluid levels, fluid and air leaks, steering, yeah, steering systems. So lenses, they're talking about the headlights. The headlights are clean, not cracked or broken, properly illuminated. The four-way flashers, properly illuminated, clean, not cracked or broken, proper color amber. 
just do the marker lights lodi they don't want it wayne they want the marker lights so you're better off just mentioning it worst they're gonna say is we don't want it so check the marker lights proper color amber they're all clean not cracked or broken properly illuminated that's it all right you can check that off lenses fluid levels now that's we'll open up the hood for that in a second just check underneath the truck make sure there's no uh puddles no hoses hanging down no wires i don't see anything dripping so that's fluid and air leaks and then well fluid levels fluid leaks and then steering system so let's open up the hood and crack the hood open open up both sides when you open the hood one foot on the bumper two hands on the top don't let it crash down uh passenger side not all the trucks have any like this truck doesn't have anything on this side just do a general overview all right just all the fluids are on the other side of the truck i'm just gonna check to make sure i don't hear any air leaking and i don't see anything dripping nothing leaking on this side of the truck i'll check all the hoses and the wires they're all in good condition all right let's go to the other side of the truck it's just for this truck some of the other trucks the coolant's on that side all right so now we can uh, so now we're gonna get to this side and we're going to check again fluid levels fluid and air leak steering system so the only three fluids they want you to check is coolant oil and power steering fluid that's it don't mention the windshield don't mention the transmission fluid none of that so just tell them how you would check the oil to check the oil, I'll take the dipstick out, wipe it off, put it back in, take it back out, and it should read between the fill and empty line. So if it's not, then I'll fill it up. So that's good. I'll just check the tube, make sure it's not cracked or broken. That's not leaking. Okay, that's good. Coolant reservoir, first and foremost, check the temperature, make sure it's not hot. If you need to open it and fill it up, if it is low, make sure cool to the touch. Check the reservoir, it's not cracked or broken. I don't see any coolant leaking. All the hoses are secured, properly clamped. Again, I don't see anything leaking. Coolant's done. Power steering fluid. Again, check all the hoses. Make sure they're clamped. Nothing's leaking. The hoses are in good condition. They're not damaged. The power steering reservoir, you don't have to wait till it's cool to the touch. You just open it. Just fill it if it's low. That's all you got to say. The reservoir itself is not cracked or broken. It's not leaking. All right fluid levels done fluid and air leaks again the air leaks they're kind of just talking about the brake chamber uh all the air hoses going to the brake chamber i don't hear any air leaks so that's fine steering systems so the steering systems they don't want steering shaft anymore we're starting at the gearbox the steering gearbox it's secured to the frame not cracked or broken it's not leaking it's not damaged Again, all the hoses are properly clamped and they're not leaking Come down here, my four-piece steering linkage, my pitman arm, my drag link, the steering knuckle, and then the tie rod is the skinny bar at the bottom. All four pieces are secured with castle nuts and cotter pins. Even if you don't remember the names of the four things, they're more worried about the castle nuts and cotter pins that you're checking for that. So all the pieces are good, they're not cracked or broken, secured with castle nuts and cotter pins, and it's properly greased. Okay, steering systems done, fluid and air leak. So the front of vehicle engine area, that whole thing is done. Now we can go to steering axle. So steering axle, just follow the checklist because it starts from the outside and it goes in. So tires, tires, we're gonna check the inner wall and the outer wall, no abrasions, bubbles or cuts, beat and seated to the rims. The treads, make sure the treads are not damaged, they're not cut. Uh, make sure that the tread depth is no less than four thirty seconds of an inch. I'll check it with a tread depth gauge. Okay, that's good. Rims, the inner inner rim and the outer rim. Make sure they're both not cracked or broken. No illegal welding. Uh, lug nuts. All ten lug nuts are present. I will check to make sure they're not loose. If they were loose, I would see rust trails or metal shavings. Okay, that's good and. Da, da, da. let's just do the valve stem while we're here the valve stem right here make sure it's in good condition i don't hear any air leaks i'll check the tires when they're cool between 100 and 110 psi okay and springs airbags and shocks now we don't have airbags specifically on this axle we do on the drive axle but that's not what it's asking 
So we're gonna come here. I'm gonna do my leaf spring hanger. That's this piece. That's not cracked or broken, secured to the frame. That is securing my leaf spring, which is the long piece going across. That's not cracked or broken. It's not shifted or scissoring. And the shocks, which is this, my shock absorber. That's not cracked or broken. Again, I don't see any leaks because there's fluid in there. Okay, that's good. Springs, airbag shocks, you can check that off. Brake, air, brake lines, hoses and leaks, and brake contaminants. That's gonna all kind of be one thing. So we're gonna check the air hose going to the brake chamber. No abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. I don't hear any leaks. My ABS wire right here that's connected to the hose. I don't see any damage. There's no illegal tape, corrosion, or burns on the wire. The brake chamber itself, we're gonna check the contaminants between the brake shoe and the brake drum. There should be no debris, grease, or oil between the brake shoe and the brake drum. Brake contaminants. Okay, hoses, leaks, good. So now you can check off brake lines, brake contaminants, and this whole section is done. Now we're gonna go to side of vehicle. Side of vehicle, that four-way flasher, you know, sometimes they make you close the hood. So if they make you close it, that first one is right here. Proper color amber, clean, not cracked or broken, properly illuminated. Lenses and reflectors, you can check that off. Reflectors, there's not really any on the side of this truck. Traffic monitoring devices, we're back over here on the side. Just check the mirror bracket. We checked the mirror inside already. So the mirror bracket, properly mounted and secured. It's in good condition. All the hardware is present and it's tight. That's good, good. Battery, for this truck, the battery box is below the driver's steps, what's behind it. It has a cover on it. Do not take it off on the test. Just tell them that the cover is properly mounted and secured. If I could check the batteries, I'll check to make sure they're not leaking, they're not damaged, the connections are not corroded. That's good. Now we can check fuel tank. Fuel tank is on the other side of the truck. We'll do that after. Frames. For this truck, the frame is right here. That is this thing going all the way across. Okay, the frame, all the holes are from the manufacturer. There's no illegal welding. It's not cracked or broken. And it's straight all the way down. Okay, we're gonna check the cross members too while we're down here checking the frame. Check the floor of the uh, box. Make sure the wood is not rotted. All the cross members, those beams are not, they're straight, not cracked, they're broken. Okay, lenses, rear of vehicle. So we don't have to do anything on the side for the doors or the box. DOT tape, there's some on the back. This truck doesn't really have too much, but just check the reflective tape. It's present on the back, it's red. There are the lenses, proper color red, and they're working properly. Properly illuminated, and just the fuel tank on the other side, that's it. The fuel tank right here, make sure the fuel tank, it's not leaking, it's secured with the metal straps and the rubber backing to prevent damage. I'll check the fuel cap. Make sure the fuel cap has the chain and the rubber seal need to be present. Do not open it on the test. All right, and that's it. If you can see any hoses, mention those, they're not leaking. But that's it for the outside pre-trip. That is it. So you can check off that last thing. Thank you. That's it.